Well, just days after the second deadliest civilian shooting, schools across the nation, of course, increased security measures to keep your children safe. Now, unfortunately, tragic events like this lead to a rise in pranks and hoaxes. News 10's Patsy Kelly visited South Vermillion schools this afternoon to find out how school officials are combating the issue. Patsy, what can you tell us? Well, Mark, Patrice, South Vermilion Community Schools received information late last night regarding a potential threat to school safety. This was specifically regarding South Vermilion High School. At that time, all school administration and staff were informed of the possible threat. Superintendent Dave Chapman began putting security measures in place immediately. Chapman says they stayed in constant contact throughout the night with the Vermilion County Sheriff's Department. County authorities interviewed the persons involved and reviewed surveillance video. After an extensive investigation, officials found the threat was not real. All parents were then contacted and notified of the situation. Sheriff Bob Spence says they already do a community type policing to keep a safe atmosphere for the children in the schools. The heightened security is making our schools a priority. Uh, we normally do a lot of uh, patrolling and uh, investigations on a day to day basis, but uh, we are highly concentrating now on the schools and making sure that uh, our patrols and our, our units are, are being seen. We take every uh, threat, every bit of information with the utmost seriousness, uh, whether it's uh, by a student, by a parent, by anybody out there. If it's brought to our attention, we investigate it and, and call the authorities if need be and pursue it from that end. Superintendent Chapman is confident their proactive approach keeps their students and staff safe and secure. The Sheriff's Department will continue to conduct their school walkthrough program, making sure the students are aware they are keeping a sharp eye. Mark Patrice, back to you. Thank you, Patsy. South Vermilion Schools will remain at a high level of security through the remainder of this week and into the new year.